Anyway, um, hello and welcome to um, Ping Pong Raw. Um, these are just my thoughts. Um, I'm going to throw them down raw as usual. It's the only way, I believe, from the heart, from the mind, straight off the cuff. Anyway, um, uh, I've spent a weekend dancing with Mandy, if you like, and smoking lots of spliffs, so my head's a bit tired. But that's part of who I am, and it's better you know that from the outset, before I talk politics and philosophy. I have nothing to hide, basically. And um, anyway, uh, I got a chance to use this Flash Studio today, so I thought I'd um, make some use of it. And then um, just come in. And on the way up here, I scribbled down, I scribbled down some ideas, some thoughts that I thought I might discuss, and hopefully um, you listen to them, and maybe you've, maybe you've heard some of them before, maybe not. Um, anyway, hopefully, hopefully they'll add to your... Um, um, thinking basically they'll add to your capacity to, to capacity to think and so on so um, I'm going to start with some political issues and then we'll get into some philosophical issues and then um, we'll mix up the two together and we'll see what kind of um, a reality comes out comes out of all the scattiness anyway anyway um, food for thought let's start there on on ping pong row um, anti-social behavior let's talk about that um, there's a lot of um, media coverage now about anti-social behaviour and, and it's usually in relation to um, the working class getting drunk and um, you know young kids out there you know robbing sweets or mobile phones etc you know a handful a minority of lost children and um, and quite a large number of lost adults you know and yet the working class are out there getting drunk every Friday and Saturday night and pissing their lives away and talking crap when they're drunk, drunks talking to drunks, uh, romance is mixed up in drunk, um, you know, in, in being drunk. Um, philosophy and politics gets mix, mixed up in being drunk, which means it's all just gibberish and bullshit. But there's, um, and, and people pissing on doorsteps and fighting and headbutting each other and men biting each other. I mean, like, yeah, how low, how low can we stoop? Men biting each other's noses off, men, men biting each other's ears, knocking each other out, thinking there's a measurement in that. <laughs> That's all it is. It's monkey. It's a, it's a primitive state of mind. And like I said, it's antisocial, absolutely. But there's another kind of antisocial anti behaviour too that I think um, it's of utmost importance that we discuss. And that's the antisocial behaviour of the upper classes, where macro antisocial behaviour has come from, if you like, where it stemmed from. I mean, if we consider um, the upper classes, if we consider, uh, I often address the monarchies, I mean, they were antisocial to the extreme. They left us in ghettos, they, um, they, you know, they shot us for treason, which means if we spoke up against their system, they would, shoot, they would shoot us because their ideology wasn't backed up with intelligence. They had no argument, only um, brute force, etc., which still stands today. Brute force is what defends uh, the status quo. Um, the antisocial behaviour of um, Number 10 Downing Street, I mean, the Prime Minister, the so-called, um, you know, the, the, the monkeys, the puppet that he was serving the, the corporate world. I mean, they're, they're antisocial. They've chopped up cultures. They continue to chop up cultures. What we've done to Iraq in the name of democracy and love is extremely antisocial behaviour. How our soldiers act out in the battlefields who were drunk last week and on a last Friday night headbutting each other and today they're on the battlefields of Iraq um, shooting Iraqi men and women and children and so on and this is happening. So this is all antisocial behaviour that should be considered. Um, how the media are antisocial, their view, the, what they, they, they dish up to us, I mean, lowest common denominator, I mean, all the, what's going on with Britney fucking Spears and just they, they're spewing up um, nonsense, basically, lowest common denominator. And, 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 and we're living in a kind of hypnotic trance at the moment. I mean, the TV and the radios and the media, they have cornered us from all angles. We're all cornered. Some are suffering from obesity and some are from anorexia and some from depression. Some are suffering from the idea that a big car represents them and a big house represents them. Some are suffering from the idea of failure because they don't have a big house and a big car to represent them. And they're all caught up in this big mishmash of scattiness, shall we say. And all of it is antisocial, antisocial. And it needs to be addressed in the macro um, complex sense. Um, the antisocial behaviour, like I said, of the elite, um, how they believe themselves to be better than you and I, we the working class, I mean, how they use us, how they exploit us. Exploitation, by definition, is antisocial. It's it, the essence of ex exploitation. I mean, why the concept unless we look at the complex essence of it? And it's anti-definition, and it's anti by, by definition, I should say, it's antisocial. It's antisocial. It's anti the way we socialize. It exploits us. It stops us. It limits our time and our movement, okay? It, it, it restricts us. It restricts our ability to blossom in springtime because we're all tired waking up to alarm clocks, etc., for the drudgery and the... Anyway, it's all good. 
Anyway, so there's my thoughts on antisocial behavior. And in there, somewhere in that mishmash, there's, there's thoughts that are worth considering. Um, and if we were to broaden the spectrum of thought so we can debate what's going on in the world. I mean, I think, you know, you need to rewind maybe and listen to what's being said a, a few times and just take in the essence. Anyway, um, on that note too, let's just debate, um, does the money trickle down to the bottom? Okay, that's another thought for the day on Ping Pong Row. Um, by the way, you can email row at pingpunk.com. Um, if you want to come on and talk um, with me on the show, and um, um, it would be nice you know, to have politically um, grounded people come on the show and talk, um, philosophical-minded people and so on, so we can just debate what's happening in the world of adults and children and just in the world in general. And uh, Anyway, 